Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and we are going to carry on with the Hereford save for a couple more weeks. Um, I said in the last episode that FM 23, I think that's the right number. Anyway, the new version of FM is coming out um, in early November so I pre-ordered it already and we are going to be playing the beta as soon as it comes out. But in preparation for that, oh, sorry for bumping the mic. In preparation for that, we're just going to finish up this Hereford save as far as we can go. At the moment, we are in Skybet League 1, and we're actually doing pretty well for a club that's just been promoted this season. Laying in 13 at the moment, it's halfway through the season. I've just done the January transfer window, and we're going to take a look at that as well. Not many changes as far as the squad. Um, to be honest, as I said in the previous episode, I've not played this save or actually any fm really for the previous i want to say three months but i'm not entirely sure for quite a long time the, during the summer i usually don't play um uh, unless it's a rubbish summer i like to be outside so in the summer i kind of give 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 this um this game a bit of a rest but the winter is starting and I'm playing again and uh, catching up with the save again. I had to remind myself who are, half of these players are. Um, and yeah, I'm going to kind of bring you up to speed as well. So ignore the, the current players for now on, in, that have been picked up for the next match. That's just in preparation for the match they're going to play next. Um, but we are... Um, currently looking at the same two goalkeepers we had before the uh, transfer window so Ruben Townsend uh, 23 year old who's been playing quite a lot for us um, this past season he was injured for a while so he, that's why he doesn't have more appearances but yeah he's been a main goalkeeper even scored a goal at one point uh, I think from a free kick he's a pretty good free kick um, taker so yeah uh, Coming from us from uh, to us from Reading previously this season. Also, Sam Blair on loan from Brighton. Um, he's playing for us as well, especially when uh, Ruben was injured. Um, he's played for us before, it seems, and then we sold him, and then he came back on loan. So he's kind of been here and there and everywhere. Um, really with different clubs and everything but yeah he's been with us before um, looks like it was only last season and then we sold him and then he came back on there on the right of defense we still have the same two players as well we got James King or Jamie King 26 year old player who's come from us um, come to us from uh, Ireland but our main player is um, Robbie McKenzie, if I could find him, there he is. Robbie McKenzie, um, more experienced player, uh, again new to us this season. Um, on the left side of the fence, we still have Matthew Horn. He's been with us a while, I think. Yeah, um, for quite a long time now. He's only 25, so he must have been with us like as soon as he turned 20 or something like that. Is our main player for that position. We had another player on loan, but I found Tassos Kotrozinis, I want to say. 22-year-old. He sounds Greek, but I'm not sure if he is Greek. It says, it says he's English. Um, yeah, nothing Greek. Okay. Um, but yeah, Tassos is with us from Man, Man United on loan. Probably only going to stay on loan, and, and then next season uh, we'll have someone else, I'm, I'm sure. Um, and then there are no other changes in the squad, so all the other these other players I'm going to talk to you about, they've been with us before the transfer window. So in defence we have Oli McCauley, and he's becoming quite a strong defender for us. Um, coming to us on loan from MK Dons, and in that same position we also have Thomas McManus, central defender. Uh, he's also very good, um, he's been with us a while as well. Uh, Scottish man. On the other side of the central defence, we have Nussbaum. Uh, he hasn't been playing a lot actually this season. Um, he had a few really bad games. So yeah, 23-year-old um, Nussbaum um, not having a season. And then Mo, Bro Mo Brogan. Uh, I think he's new. Yeah, he's new. And yeah, he's been playing a lot more. 
in the um, defensive midfield, we have Juho Launen, the uh, Finnish player, 21-year-old Finnish player that's been with us a while on loan, but finally signed for us on a permanent deal this season. And we actually had Chris Williamson on loan, on loan the previous half of the season, and then his loan ended, but his contract also ended, so we hired him. Uh, so he's now with us on a permanent contract. In the midfielding position, we've got Martin Ivkic, uh, Croatian, 25-year-old, and he was with us for a while now. He's one of our better players. But actually, in that position, we have uh, Jack Waterston being quite strong. So Jack Waterston, in the first half of the season, was playing in attacking midfield for us. I put him down to central midfield, and he's been doing quite well recently in recent matches. Picked up quite a few goals and basically swapped him with Alex McBride. Alex McBride was in mid um, center midfield position and he's now in attacking midfield position. Um, McBride has been with us as well. He's like basically one of our own players that we brought up through the ranks. Also in attacking midfield, we have Giscomb, uh, who's, who's been with us a little while as well. In the right side, we have Chadwick, probably our main player for that side of attack, but uh, obviously just on loan. Um, Bradley is actually coming along pretty well in recent weeks. He wasn't doing too well at the start of the season, and he might be hampered by this injury again. But um, yeah, in recent weeks, he's been doing quite well. He's kind of been with us for a while. He went to Gloucester for a little bit, but come, came back, and he's now with us again. Uh, in the left side, we have, I think, two new players. So Ben Carter, new this season. I think he's new this season, yeah. Uh, he's improving quite a lot throughout the season. Um, his stats have improved quite a lot. Um, like, some of the stats improved too. Like, some of the key stats improved, like, two points, which is nice. And Ian Davis, who started off being our main goal, keep, uh, goal scorer, but now he's just... Not really scoring that much in recent weeks. He's been with us a while in that position. Um, and then Stephen White, who's been with us for a while as an attacker. Um, also doing better in recent weeks. And Pope, I think he's been with us two seasons. Ah, a little more than two seasons. I thought he was more new. He's not as new as I thought he was. Uh, yeah, so Pope is with us and he sort of had a good start of the season and then kind of declined a little bit in recent weeks. We are going to face um, Wycombe for the league. And I've already pre-selected the team um, away from um, away from camera, I suppose. And then we're just going to go into it. We have a few players injured, so that's why. I'm playing um, a few youth players. So, uh, Robbie Turley, the goalkeeper, he's stepping in for the goalkeepers. One, uh, Sam, Bra Sam Blair is injured, and Ruben Townsend is recovery from injury. He's not full, fully recovered yet, so I'm just going to test out an under-23s goalkeeper. That's why we have the under 23s to make sure we can give these guys some time every now and then. And he's going to be tested today, and he's already conceded four minutes in. But that's why we try things. So it's not not too crucial. There is no particular um, goal for this season other than staying in this league. So we're avoiding relegation. That's our main goal. Um, and at the moment, we are avoiding relegation, which is good. We had a few surprising matches as well. Um, there was one match against, I think, Nottingham. Uh, we were at one point, I think, uh, three to one, losing three to one, and we ended up winning six three, which was very, very impressive. Yeah, so in terms of FM23 features, I'm not really sure what to expect. 
They seem to have made a big deal about making your own headlines and stuff. Um, that seems to hint some, some sort of change to social media, but I think there will be some changes to something football related. It is a football game after all. So I'm hoping some changes to training maybe. Um, or I'm not sure tactics. Taxes, tactics were changed quite a while ago, like all completely overhauled, but they had minor tweaks in recent years, so maybe tactics as well, I'm not sure. Um, I think training is the main thing that kind of needs a bit of an uplift, I think. And I'm not sure if they're going to introduce women's leagues. It would be nice if they did. I'd quite like to try them. Um, yeah, that would be a nice touch if they introduced women's leagues. So let me know in the comments what other features you think might be coming in the new game. As I said, we're going to be trying it out as soon as it comes out in the beta. Um, I'm hoping I'll be available to record a few videos at that time. And we'll be trying out some of the new features and ha just having a bit of a look to see how it, how it comes across. Let me just see what this ends up doing. I want to make some subs. Okay, right, let's just pause it there. And we're going to put uh, my pride in. And I think this guy has to come out. So there haven't been ha there haven't been many highlights for us in this match, which is a little bit unusual in recent weeks. Anyway, we ended up losing two nil. Not a good day for that rookie goalkeeper conceding two in one match. But I guess it's not just up to him; it's that the whole team, the whole team needs to make an effort. But yeah, his rating is quite low as well. Right, close one back. Still got five minutes to try and do something, but um, I don't know. The, all the guy, all the guys are really tired. The midfield, especially, is really tired. So I guess we're gonna have to be content with a defeat in this case. So there we go. I will continue and come back at the end of the season just to show you how it's gone. Um, as I said, I'll just release a couple of videos between now and the beta, um, just as far as I can record them. I'm, to be honest, I'm pretty busy right now with just like all things life, so uh, um, quite keen to get back into it and make sure that um, everything's up and running for the beta. 
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.